welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling really ugly, so if you have any comments about my appearance, don't fucking say anything. Honestly, lately, I've been feeling fantastic. <laughs> I've been feeling sexy as fuck. <laughs> you Just look... don't ask me to say my oh. S's, because I can't say them, because I got veneers and I'm not used to them yet. Yeah, I told you you shouldn't have gone to, like, someone you found, like, via Groupon. I told you to shut the fuck up. I'm just saying, like, you you have a following. You could have used somebody, gotten a discount, and, like, gotten decent veneers. Yeah, but I like equality and being equal with everybody. And, like, if I have something that other people don't have, it means I'm privileged. And I just, I don't want to use that. You sound crazy. You you sound like like a different person. I think you're fucked up. You look fucked up. You look weird. Like something about you is weird today. And I can't I don't look weird at all. You look No. I, <laughs> I look good. I look fine. Look when we about? started the episode, a piece of your beard fell off. A what? Like a drop of your beard. <laughs> what was that? That was part of my tooth. <laughs> Part of my tooth are flew they, out. Are they, or wait, when did you get them? <laughs> like three days ago. Oh, so they're new now. Yeah, that's why it's like I'm having trouble talking. Wait, why are parts of them falling out if you just got them? Because I got them in fucking New Mexico. <laughs> I drove to Arizona. <laughs> What's wrong with Arizona? Do they do really bad veneers there? Yeah. Is it because they're cheap? Well, they don't take health insurance. Uh. <laughs> So you had to pay out of pocket? How much was it out of pocket? Like 180. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. They shaved my teeth down. It's like, it was worth it. They cut them. Okay, so this is how it went. They took me to like... <laughs> <laughs> they is, took me to is this... Is your spit pooling? Yeah. Um, <laughs> they took me to this um, like really scary house. Um, people were like overdosing on fentanyl in the front. It was really scary. And they walked me through the front <laughs> into this back room. And they, it looked kind of nice. They, they had like a table of like. Like inside, did it look like an Airbnb that yeah, you could get for like $80 yeah, a night? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, but there was like a table in the back, not like a dinner table, just like a regular table. And they would like lay on there. A dinner table. They made me pay first too, which is really weird. <laughs> but I was like, whatever. I was like, whatever. I'll just do it. So they laid me down on the dinner table. They got out fucking, you know those like jackhammers? There was like a mini version of a jackhammer and they just started chiseling away at they my They probably feet. got that off Shein because they don't sell that in stores. No, and then you know the, the picks that you can get from Walmart, the thin shoes? Yeah. Well, then they started going into my gums with that and like picking Wait, my gums away. Wait, they shake it. Wait, go, like where, <gasps> you don't have gums anymore. No, because I want, I told them I want the brightest white smile. So they put it as high <laughs> up as they could go. <laughs> You sound so like a different person. Hey, Drew, can you show the just like the profile? If you look to the right of uh, the beard, what about it? It just oh no, this look that way. Look that way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something something weird is happening. Something really strange is happening to the bottom of your beard. Wait, wait here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, seems... yeah, you gotta you gotta get a little. <laughs> so yeah. I, I just gotta um, groom it a little bit. Yeah, he didn't brush it this morning. <laughs> Other than that, you look really good. Your hair is really glossy. Yeah. Did you use like a color depositing conditioner? No. Oh, what did you do? This is, I just woke up. Oh. Did you get a haircut when you get got your? You really gotta like push in um, whatever's happening here. I there's it's nothing happening. Though. It really seems like there's something happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah 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 turn like look that way. Yeah, it looks good. No, you fix it. Yeah, oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got it. Why? What? what is so funny? Y'all? I, I think me and Kai are honestly shocked because, like, you just want me to know? fucking take off my oh beard. My God, you just want me, me to finish. fucking take it off. I'll fucking take no, it off. I'm, I'm gonna fucking take oh, it off. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you guys. I just shaved for you. You just pulled your beard. You off? just ripped it off. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm literally fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Did that not hurt? <laughs> I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm fucking crazy. When did that crazy. happen? What? When did that? What? What is that? It's been three months. <laughs> it's been happening for three months? Yeah, why do you think I wear the fucking hat? <laughs> I did not know that. Drew, turn to the side. Oh, it goes all the way around. Yeah. Did you do that on purpose? You're lying. You did that on purpose. No. Oh, why is it bumpy? It's literally bumpy. This is just how I born. This is how I was born. 
<laughs> it's really hard for me to say <laughs> S's, so you just gotta stray away from like words like is. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me to say S's. You should put the wig back on. You look really scary. No. The, I want the people to know who I am. And this is who I am. I'm ready to be the person I was meant to be. <laughs> I'm tired of hiding. God made me this way. I should have God made it. you that way. And that's why you got $180 veneers yesterday. <sighs> yeah. Three days ago. Dumbass. <laughs> Like, shut the fuck up. Uh, wait, you saying the thing about- They're removable. Are your teeth shaved down at, under there? Yes. <laughs> we should have got the, 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 uh, <laughs> the teeth paint. <laughs> that, so it looks like your teeth oh, we got, we got it And we painted it around my little baby we'll, we'll do that for another episode, but everybody just acts surprised. Oh. You kind of look like Jim Carrey. Ew! Oh, I just also much spit caught in your mouth. Ew. Me with my Invisalign. Oh, yeah. They did shave your teeth down. Your teeth look really tiny and weird. Fuck off. These are my real teeth. Oh, oh my God. So oh, sorry. my God. <laughs> also, we have not spoken about our awesome banner and why we yes. have the banner up. Yeah. <laughs> We, we have asked. asked. It's been a long time. It's been a long 46 time coming. Weeks. No a one year. would sponsor us for 46 a weeks. A year. <laughs> Almost a year in. And you know, when I started, I was like, fuck the system. We'll get ads our own yeah. way. <clears throat> yeah. It took a year. But um, it, it literally took we a year. We did it. We did it. We're excited. Should we bust those open? or? Yeah. Should we do it? And then like, okay. So we got, we got something to celebrate. It's like a gender reveal. I don't know how these work. Kai, you might want to... Um, like duck out of the way. <laughs> get at you oh, so we don't They're confetti you. cannons, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's scary. Wait, okay. It's going to be loud as fuck, honestly. Three, <laughs> two, one. Oh! <laughs> fuck. That was so loud. Oh, my ears are ringing. I can't hear anything. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a hole in our ceiling. Oh my god, why was that so loud? <laughs> All of it got I feel like I just bucket. got <clears throat> flashbang. My ears are bleeding. <laughs> oh, it's all over me too. It's all over everywhere. We got it! Oh, wait, we didn't even say anything. Yeah. <laughs> we just did it. <laughs> we fucking suck. Uh, um, yeah, we have ads. So from now on, click the fucking link in our bios motherfuckers yep click the links buy the products you know the drill um yeah um but let uh, honestly let's take an ad break right now this episode is partially sponsored by manscaped, manscaped. <laughs> i think they picked us because we talk about our pubes and our, and balls, our balls a lot all the time which is like very fitting because i am a man and i have balls and i shave the shit out of my balls and i have a very dense bush i get compliments a lot saying that i have a bit of a manly bush yeah um but if it does need to be trimmed yeah it does it need does some need manscaping yeah. <laughs> but if you are not um, somebody who's trying to shave your balls. This is the perfect package um, for a father on this lovely upcoming yeah. Father's if, Day. If your father has balls that need to be trimmed, go to Manscaped. Um, this awesome package has a pair of like sweatproof boxers. It has a trimmer. It has a ball deodorant, which I'm probably going to steal and use on my vulva. Yeah. Does it have um, the um, uh, lawnmower in here? Yeah, the lawnmower is in there. The lawnmower 4.0. The crop Can I revival? use it on you, honestly? Um, tonight, yeah. Yeah. Do you just, mind? Just not when we're recording. I don't want. Okay. I mean, I guess I, we could just show them a demonstration, but a like bit, you're no, not. I but don't. you're not. But you're not like brave enough. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I don't want to uh, subject people to that. Okay. Whatever. Oh, um. But yeah, this is an awesome package to get your dad. I feel like shopping for your dad for Father's Day is one of the most complicated things ever because. Mm -hmm. To please someone who in your life probably wears the same shirt every day. And is, it has holes in their boxers. Yeah, get him a new pair of boxers. Yeah. But yeah, this is the perfect package. Make sure you use the link in our bio to get 20% off mm -hmm. of this lovely Father's Day gift. Um, and if you don't do it, um, something bad will probably happen to you. I'm just saying. We're just like being honest. I'll curse I'm you. I'm honestly just playing I'll now. I'll curse you. It's a fun little package to unbox. 
I know that's the best part is you get to have the satisfaction of watching somebody unpack something because there's like so many fun little doodads in here. Yeah. The crop reviver. I can't get anything out with my nails. I did use the weed whacker on my nose. Um, and it was really nice, actually. Yeah, like, I, I was going to say your nose hairs were like almost like like nasty how long they were. So no, I'm actually I, glad they Do you, do you remember? Those. Like I had like an arc where my nose, I was so lazy to get a nose hair trimmer that I just didn't trim my nose hair for like ever. And I would just like stuff them up into my nose. And I, it was really gross. But now I have one and it's perfect. Wait, how would you rate it? A 10 out of 10. I almost said 9 out of 10, but it deserves a 10. Yeah, because I'm like, it's a nose hair trimmer. Like, what do you want it to do? It gets the job done. Exactly. And it also um, is an ear hair trimmer too, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> okay, I need that for somewhere else. Damn. I'm going to sit on that tonight. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm, act I'm not kidding. Like, I wish I was kidding. I'm going to use this on my balls. On my balls. Slay. I'm going to use this in a lot of ways. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code emergency at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code emergency. He'll be shaking the gifts his mama gave him. Oh, Kai, are you having a hard time getting to your laptop now yeah. that everything is covered in confetti? Yeah, it's really hard to use my laptop. Yeah, it's now. funny how you can't just be happy for us. Also, I can't hear anything. I just hear ringing. <laughs> <laughs> my ears are honestly bleeding. Like, yeah, that was overwhelmingly loud. But we did good at getting it in unison, kind of. Yeah, I think we did it at the same time somehow. Oh, uh, my, like, like, my face burns so bad from this uh, <laughs> spirit gum. <laughs> You want to wash your face? Mm, kind of, but not really. I don't care. Okay. Let me know when you can't take it anymore. Yeah, I'll be fine. What's awesome about all the confetti sticking to the ceiling is that every now and then it'll come down. And there's it's one in Kai's honestly hair. honestly kind of cute. Really? Oh, yeah. It, it got out. Hey, it's on your shirt now. Oh, okay. Um, but thank you, uh, Future and Yen Drew, for reading those ads. We love you, BetterHelp and Manscaped. It was very natural. It's crazy that that I know. was I first know. I think we're good at it, right? Yeah, this has been very natural and chill. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like it's like it's like we weren't even like talking about like a product. We just were like talking about ourselves so much. To our friends. Yeah. We'll 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 make sure to make every ad about ourselves. So it yeah. doesn't seem any different than any other episode. And it's just <laughs> us still talking about ourselves yeah. somehow. We'll make all of the ads watchable somehow. Um, but you talking about your fake veneers, I want to talk about my dream. I don't know if you want to talk about your dream that you had. Mine was, I, I, this may need to be censored, but it was literally an orgy where no sex happened, but it was like initiated, but then nothing happened. And I swear to God, it, I swear to God. Like people hanging out? Yeah. No, but it, <laughs> but no, it out. was initiated to be an orgy, but we kept waiting for people to join. <laughs> And like more and more people would join, and they were waiting like, for people to ready up. Yeah, exactly. Would people, would people join and then kind of tap out? No, like no, really? no. Everybody was waiting, and for some reason, I was like the ringleader, and I didn't want to be. And I remember being really uncomfortable and not wanting to do it. But then everybody just kind of got angry at me, and we all just like walked away. Um, and we were at it was so it was so fucking weird because whatever it it doesn't even matter like the set and setting um actually i just am uncomfortable saying it so i don't want to say it okay don't do it yeah um well my dream was oh is there confetti in your water kai yeah you there. could just drink it it probably just has like lead on yeah, it yes um <laughs> cosplay think... as a sea turtle oh cosplay is that's what a sea turtle experiences yeah. every day with all the plastic that you imagine you were a little fish trying to eat some fucking uh, bacteria. We made acid. sure this plastic was biodegradable. No, we really didn't. <laughs> Not for it. This is like, this will be on this earth till we die and perish. Yeah. <clears throat> Kai, okay, cosplay Kai, wasting as water. a sea turtle. <clears throat> cosplay as a sea You want me just to My, eat trash? Eat the microplastics. These are macroplastics. This is, <laughs> these are big. Um, <laughs> in my dream, I went with like, I was with Orion and we went to an esthetician to both like we were in the dream we were in our like mid 30s and we were like honestly i'm down to get a little botox like mm. both of us were just like i think i'm gonna get a little botox i'm always down for botox yeah i'm like open to botox when, whenever i need botox i'm gonna get it i don't give a fuck but not like crazy botched like yeah, i'm just gonna like just a little, little touch up i don't give a fuck it's just snake venom um, but we like went to go get it and Orion filled out the form and in oh the God, dream, I'm literally sitting like curled like up and I hate when people comment about it. 
Then sit like a real man and spread your legs. Slut. Ew. That looks weird. Yeah. I'm like really that doesn't comfortable. Look Especially with your hair. I actually think I have just giant calluses on my ass like a baboon. <laughs> like I think that's literally like have you ever seen a callous baboon ass? <laughs> yeah. That's literally because I realized like ap- after like episode 32, I don't feel this chair anymore. It's crazy. <laughs> no, you don't feel the chair anymore because I think I saw someone comment about it is you stood up and nobody ever says that sees the deterioration. <laughs> also, you're fully going to be the first human on earth with like a rare like sort of cancer. Oh, I've said that before. This. It's yeah. it this is not safe at all to be touching sitting on this. Yeah. Um but yeah, so in the dream there was like um you know the sheets that like makeup artists have to like draw on before like to like do creative oh yeah yeah yeah. like the little the like face chart yeah there was that and orion had went and filled it out for us and i didn't see before she did it and i like went and lay down and they like numbed my face and i like fell asleep while they did it when i woke up and looked in the mirror i looked fucking crazy and she had given me lip filler and i was like i don't want lip filler and then she was like your friend filled it out like that and i looked at orion and she had gotten lip filler but hers looked really good but i was having like an allergic reaction and i looked fucking awful and i just spent the whole dream freaking the fuck out and i remember we paid her literally like i called my friend i facetimed him and i was like dude look at me like what the fuck and he was like why would you do that like how much did you spend on that and i was like it was literally 34 dollars <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> me with my 180 dollar veneers yeah so um that reminded me of that <clears throat> and it, it gave me a new fear because i'm just like i've thought about getting lip filler um but then I, I know that would happen to me. Like, I would get you really would get botched. botched. Yeah, I would yeah. be botched. That's the thing with any, like, any um, kind of elective filler. surgery that I'd ever, like, get, it would be botched. And I would be, like, 36 times uglier than before. That's um, literally why I, like, don't dabble in that stuff. Also, because, like, if I'm being honest, God did make me very perfect. I was about so. to say the same thing. God made about me perfect. Me. Yeah. Yeah. You should get something done, though. A few things. What the fuck? I could I could write up a list and like text it to you so you don't forget it. Um, like and, what? Oh, um, probably like so, uh, first of all, something about the hair. Fuck off. Like ASAP. Oh <laughs> no, man. I'm not doing anything about my goddamn hair. Okay, fine. Um, I can get a brand deal to fly to Turkey to get my hair replaced, <laughs> and I have a plus oh, now one. You, yeah, no, we can go to. And Turkey. I have a plus one. You're taking me. Z- yes. I mean, I was didn't really want to take you. You kind of just invited yourself. <laughs> and now you can't uninvite me. No, I'm not inviting you. Wait, so am I going to Turkey with you or no? No. Who's going? Who's going to like, who's going to really take care of you after your surgery? You. That's I'm gonna the go. thing. I'm going to go. With Kai's going to go. Um, but the thing is, is if I took you to take care of me after my surgery, you would not take care of me after my surgery. You Are have you made kidding? it very abundantly clear that if I was ever hopped up, laid up, like paraplegic whatever it is you would not take care of me and no, i know if i got a hair transplant about, surgery you would not take care no, of me no that's different like taking it's care true. of you for it's like true. 3 days versus like what now like i have to wipe your fucking ass i'm not wiping your ass like, I, would, I would i would yeah kai would wipe my ass even if like my lifelong partner and yeah, like, i would wipe the shit off of your ass i would go fucking hard like getting that shit out of your butt I, but it kind of sounds like you want to do that like just naturally yeah. You don't think there's anything weird about you wanting to wipe the poop off no, of No, it's bottle. just my primal urge to take care of people. And it's also a little bit sexual. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would not take care of you, no. I would take care of you for like three days. But bitch, if you like, oh, I have to put you into my car? No. You wouldn't no. pick me up? No. You're a big girl. I, <laughs> I would lose up. so much weight. <laughs> You say it like you'd be fucking Thumbelina, bitch. You'd still be a grown ass man oh with bones. Oh my god, you're so annoying and mean. Um, anybody want to ask me what happened at dinner the other night? Oh my god, <laughs> what happened at dinner the other night that you you wanted to bring up to me? But you're like, let's let's save it for the podcast. It is. It was the craziest experience I've ever had. Like I had men like hit on me and my friends. Or, like, I've seen my, like, friends be hit on by men. But this was the funniest thing ever. Like, we literally were cracking up. So, it was me, Orion, and Rain. We went to a dinner. And it was, like, 
a like cute restaurant like it was pretty packed but by the time we were like getting our meals it had kind of emptied out mm -hmm. so there were a bunch of empty tables and it's one of those restaurants that has like the things where you can draw so we're all drawing like crosses and hearts and stuff but like orion's side she's sitting alone so there's a whole area where she's just filling it with like crosses and ribbons and like all this stuff so it's very Cutesy visible girl shit. yeah girl it's shit. very visible on orion's side so we're just sitting there and then like rain goes oh my god like to me and i'm like huh and i look and it was this fucking random ass white dude with painted nails like pointing to the table next to us but it was a straight white dude like like yeah of course you know exactly the vibe yeah. like like sweater like almost long hair and like his like little manicure like okay get a grip like yeah, you're ugly it out. um so he like pointed to the table right next to us and rain was like really like of all the tables like he no he has to sit next to us like she didn't say all of that but she was like really wait like he he was pointing there to sit there yeah like the, okay. the waiter was like do you have anywhere you want to sit and he pointed to the table right next to us mind you there was like tables everywhere okay. and they were close tables because it's like kind of like an intimate like close restaurant and it was very close to us so he sat down and like looked at the table and like Amelia is like, I like the drawings. Like he said that, and we were all like, Oh, thank okay, you. Okay, so and, so and, far not weird. Yeah, it's not the worst thing. And around is like, Okay, thank you. And he sits down, and he is just like staring at us Ew. like it's in this one long booth and he has his body turned to orion basically and is like staring at us while we talk well and it's we not like, his fault that y'all are so hot like that's on you yeah that is kind of your guys like fault. be less pretty and you'd get stared yeah. at less yeah I, I will say like it is like honestly it's should i just get into it it's yeah get into it like it's a we've really it's a we've really about hard it. life being like one of the hottest women in la no it, like, it's I, so i've seen it with my own two eyes because i'm like technically the hottest man in la and oh, it's just no, like no it's okay. really hard like like why do you have to make it about yourself it, but us being the duo you know like look us at your the head duo. look at your head right now you might have gotten like that, well three down. fucking months ago i was the hottest man alive and now you want to bring in my fucking hair again <laughs> okay put the hat back on put True, the wig this on this is like what we always talk about how hard it is for women to be really hot and like just exist i know we like always oh yeah and y'all's free time when you like touch each other and stuff oh mm -hmm. my god i mean i don't know why you have to bring that That's up not, i mean yeah no i'm just saying it's really hard for you to be beautiful and also really hard for me to be sexy and that's all i'm getting at and it's okay we can both be hot Okay, anyways. So, yeah, being a... a like, she cries herself to sleep. Because it hurts. It hurts my feelings. Like, sometimes when people compliment me, I'm like, you know what's so sad is you wish you could look like me and you just never will. Mm -hmm. There is no getting to look like me. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. all the surgeons in the world couldn't make it happen. Because mm -hmm. I will... I Okay, and like, this is honestly, this is just me being real. Yeah. And it has to be said, some of you are really ugly. Mm -hmm. um, and that's okay. Because we... You know what? It's like we need the ugly people. Yeah, to, <laughs> just to make us look yeah. prettier. Because like, like, where would a, we be? There's where a place in society for the ugly folk. Yeah, um, and like mm -hmm. honestly, thank you guys. Thank you to anybody yeah. who's ugly watching. Yeah, like because we need shout you. out to the ugly people. Yeah, we I, need I feel you. bad for you. <laughs> I feel bad. Shout out for the ugly people. I feel bad for you. But <laughs> we need you. Yeah, yeah. Shout out <laughs> to people with anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, damn. <laughs> okay, let me just finish this story. Uh, damn. So he's just like staring at Orion and we're like trying to ignore it, but we're already kind of cracking up because we can't believe like his lack of, he's not even trying to hide the fact that he's eavesdropping. Like at one point he like butts in and says something else to us and we were like, yeah. Oh, cause we were just like talking about work and stuff and he butts in. He's like, I really fuck with the vibe that like you guys like understand your value. That's really awesome. Like said that to us and we were like, yeah. <laughs> I like, agree with him. I like, as a woman, understanding your value is important. That's <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, yeah. He's literally the character me and Kai play. Yeah. No, he actually was. No, but th this is what made us all fucking crack up. So we're sitting there, whatever. And I like have a perfect view of him because Rain is to my side. So like if she looked at him, it would be too crazy. But since Orion's across from me, like he's fully in my eyesight. Mm -hmm. We're sitting there eating and he gets brought his fucking food. And I just see him go like this. Oh, no. He saw <laughs> the crosses and he started faking prayer. No way. And he... But, 
he had a laundry list to God because he was in that position for so long. No, also, you want to go and visual, see him so If bad. you're an audio listener, he just put his hands up, classic style, started praying. Like, hands together, like someone was about to take a picture of him in 2014. Like, literally praying. 1412? <laughs> 2014? No, because in 2014, when everybody, like, because of Drake, would do, like, the six uh, god thing. Like, literally, that was his vibe. So he, and he was silent for so long. And I, like, was looking at him and I just go, oh. I would have died. And I, like, time. I, like, told them. And I just, like, looked them in the eyes and I was, like. And they all, like, both of them looked. And we just started laughing. And then Rain. No, he was straight up faking because no, of the No, he crosses. was. And so then he, Rain picked up her phone and was, like, Orion couldn't look because she was scared he would look up. And Rain put her phone right in front of him and was, like, did I show you guys this? And Orion looked at the phone to, like, look at him. And we just started so cracking slick. up. And then whatever. We move on. And, like, he's eating and still just obviously fucking eavesdropping because he's, like, just staring at us while he eats. Bitch, tell me why. Because he got an appetizer. He got a salad. Tell me why they brought him his, his spaghetti. Guess what he did again? He went back into fucking praying mode. He prayed and I'm like, okay. He prayed over his water and his Me spaghetti. when I've never fucking prayed in my life. And I think I have to pray for every course of the meal. Like That's so sick. And he did it again. And dude, we were dying laughing. Honestly, he's braver than the troops. <laughs> and I support him. And yeah. And then we like all just like kept talking. And he like butted in one more time. I was like, sorry, I'm like eavesdropping. Like you guys are just so interesting. And we were like, okay. You should have just invited him to sit at your table. Um, I started making- You probably really- could have made a friend. Yeah. Who would have fingered me? A fingering friend. Oh my Honestly, God. Honestly, everybody needs a fingering friend. Can I just say that? Can I just say that? Everybody, ev- we have a BF, but we need an FF, a fingering friend. I don't know if you're allowed to say that. Why am I not allowed to say that? I don't know. I need a fingering friend. I'm just, as a woman, I'm speaking what I need. It's true. Like, she's just expressing herself. So. Oh God, Kai, shut true. the fuck up. Okay. You're, you're not qualified. Word. Okay, yeah. Is that true, though? That you're just expressing yourself? Yeah, that's usually what I'm doing when I just, like, speak. Drew and I love myself. when women express themselves. What are you themselves? doing to the mic? Ew! Stop! Drew showed me a video of him doing, like, a spin table pottery thing, and it actually grossed me Oh, out. it was... It's... <laughs> I have to watch it again real quick. We'll, <laughs> we'll add it on the screen for you guys. But it's no, honestly... No, you're not allowed to put that public because it's nasty. It, no, it's honestly the most sexual I think <laughs> I've ever been in my life. And it's not like publicly sexual. But, and it's not even like I was trying to be. It's just like pottery is naturally just like sexy for some Super reason. Super erotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that movie Ghost where they mm-hmm. like... Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the thing is, like, it is on purpose. No, I was really into it. There it is. <laughs> We're about to get in there. Like, you <laughs> the sound, did it on purpose. The sound sounds so fucking naughty. <laughs> Yeah, it literally, like, even the, like, dun, dun, dun. And then you, like, <laughs> under your breath saying, like, mm, this looks so good. <laughs> so You just get fun. into it. You just get into it and I you do lose yourself. I do. Remember when you, me, and Orion tried to go to pottery? Like, <laughs> they I fucking about- kicked us out. <laughs> yeah. They're like, fuck you guys. We were like, we booked the class. And they're like, sorry, we overbooked. You have to go. And we were like, okay, we'll take one for the team. But fuck you. And they go. didn't give us our money back or a voucher to come back. Really? Go again. Yeah. That seems illegal. I mean, take it up with them. <laughs> i don't think kai cares that much um but yeah and then he left and we just fucking died laughing because i like couldn't believe y'all that. are so mean we're mean he was probably just like having the time of his life he probably has a different story he's probably Wait, like, these girls he eat with anybody or was he just alone he was alone really and that, and he he chose it was just to... him and god yeah table. yeah literally he Dude. no oh he made a joke about it he was like sorry i was eavesdropping like because you know the guy across the table was too funny and there was no oh. one there and we were like you know what happened oh, is he, he <laughs> has a completely different perspective on this he was like i talked to three gorgeous women and it was like so epic for me to do and he was probably like so excited to get out of his shell and he was just like yeah. Like I am like He was so it. excited to see our uh Orion's like little like shitty doodles at a boredom while she was talking and see the two crossings and be like, Yeah. 
Someone made a you compilation TikTok. You know what didn't TikTok? help is we, like, were dressed, like, hella, like, the pilgrimage. Like, because we were mm. all in our, like, Edwardian no, nightgowns. <laughs> so we girl. straight up looked like our vibe was Jesus. Like, Literally. we were serving Jesus. Speaking of that, yeah. we have we have another one coming up. Let's Yeah, let's hear from future Drew and Inya. <laughs> of course. Of course. Like, you know. It doesn't make sense. To not be sponsored by BetterHelp. Like, of course, All- Emergency Intercom is sponsored by BetterHelp. We are the most depressed people on the internet. Y'all are the most depressed we people on the, the internet. We take the cake. We take the cake, honestly. Yeah, we have our cake and we eat it too. Like, we're depressed as bones. Literally, all we do every episode is go on, like, a 20-minute, like, hyper tangent. And then by the end of the episode, talk about our crippling, like, <laughs> mental health issues. Yeah. So, it makes sense. And honestly, it feels good to partner with them because Mm -hmm. i feel like so many times um we've been advocates for going to therapy and like trying it out for yourself and i know it is far more difficult to do than it seems but not when you have something like better help around that you can literally just do it from the comfort of your own home it's like the easiest vibe ever like i literally love it yeah you'll very quickly be partnered with a certified um therapist who Mm -hmm. can help you talk it out and Get honestly, I'm signing Drew up today. Yeah. Well, no, I'm already signed up. I've worked with them before, so I've used it, and it's like lit sauce. I think you could. You should probably like. Do they let you use more than one therapist? Because you probably I, should have like two or three. I mean, I think you can do that, but I don't know if that'll be good for me. No, you because you need a lot of help. Oh my god. Okay. okay you yeah. guys, you guys will be good with just one therapist, but like Drew, I think could probably use a few. I feel like that's like a loaded thing that you're saying to me, but I can't really read but i'm just trying to help you you can't let go of me um but yeah super excited to be partnering with them i'm a huge advocate for therapy therapy rules i'm gonna get a shirt that says therapy rules therapy slays yeah boots and house (laughs) (laughs) therapy slays boots down um and just make sure if you are going to use better help that you go to betterhelp.com slash intercom and you will get 10 percent off um your subscription period it's that easy. And with that being said, go use it so y'all stop commenting about how much you need us. Oh Maybe my you God. need a therapist instead. But still comment about it. But like, Because it makes us feel good. Yeah, it makes us feel good how wanted we are and it boosts us in the algorithm. But you do need help. <laughs> <laughs> that goes without saying you do need help. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash intercom join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health again that's betterhelp h-e-l-p dot com slash intercom i um someone made a tiktok of like my movements and how like yossified they are and now i'm insecure about it it's like when I like move my hair across or like move my shit like that. People are like your movements are yossified and I just did it. And then I realized that I'm doing exactly what people are making fun of me for. And how does that make you feel? Terrible. Yeah. You should write Terrible. a fucking book about it and sell it to somebody who gives a fuck because I literally don't. Oh my God. Whoa. You're saying? I'm and just I'm just a woman saying a, how I feel. Yeah, I mean I, that's my new stride. That's my so summer. We, we do like that. When my summer twenty two mood, the big mood and vibe. Schmood, schmood, schmood. My summer twenty two mood is restarting Ask FM and bullying the fuck out of people anonymously, oh, <laughs> or bullying shit. myself so that people feel empathy for me <laughs> <laughs> and putting it publicly. It's like those people who like do like the questions on IG and they ask themselves the questions and screenshot it and post it on their story and it's like. How are you so sexy? Or like, you're so sexy. How big is your penis? Have you seen those people no. where they don't realize that like you can tell that they ask the questions to themselves? No. Yeah, uh, it's really humiliating. Wait, how, how can you tell? I'm like Kai, freaked out. Damn, Kai. <laughs> damn. No, it's like, seriously, how can you tell? Oh my Kai God. did just do a Q&A on, uh, he opened that up on his Instagram. Damn. Probably- so are those questions asked by other people or by you? Uh, other people mm-hmm. ask that. Um, I don't. He just like typed a question into the bar and screenshotted it and then posted it onto a story. Oh, yeah. maybe it was on purpose and you missed the comedic like. No, vibe. it was not on purpose <laughs> at all. So we know it's a boy. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was not on purpose. As a man, why are you asking yourself questions? <laughs> <laughs> you should be silent. Literally. <laughs> no, back to Ask FM. Um, that shit was scary. I fucking hated Ask FM. It, like, it was... gave me trauma. We had Ask FM and then we had this thing called Yik Yak at our school. Do you know what Yik Yak is? Oh, yeah. I never had Yik Yak. Have I talked about this before? Maybe. Um, I don't think so. It's like that. Uh, Yik Yak is like this app that like you... It's basically just for your school district and it like ha- it opens up like a public social media, but it's within like a five mile radius or something. And basically once our high school got a hold of it, it was just like airing out everybody's business that nobody needed to know and like saying really gnarly shit and like bullying certain kids. And like for the most part, like I stayed like steered clear of it. Like it was totally chill. Like no one said shit about me and this was like at the beginning of like social media shit so i was like terrified someone would have something to say about that because i was so insecure about it um but near the end of its life because it got canceled um because people were like sending fucking death threats and like bomb threats and school shooting threats and all this crazy shit onto it so the school district was able to like ban it um and get it like banned from our school but um right before the end of it someone wrote on there that i got i was getting head and had a seizure while driving and crashed the car (laughs) and people believed that people (laughs) believed that i was getting head i had a seizure and crashed my car people believe that you were getting head so good that it sent like no no i think it's like super chill so people thought you were literally getting the best and i i did not deny i I didn't say i didn't confirm or deny i just let people believe it and i was just well, was it true? Yeah, it was true. That's fucked up. That's actually, really God, sick. Just said that's it was cool. really it's, sick. It's not cool now that I know you oh actually did God. that. I think that's very cool. That's like something that would happen to Playboy Cardi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and I was on lean. <laughs> Wait, you were you were drinking and driving? Yeah, sipping and driving. That's so cool. So wait, that's probably why you crashed your car. It's not because of the seizure. It's because of the. But no, you I had a t- seizure because of the lean. <laughs> because the head was so good no oh because i was overdosing um they had yik yak at ucla and Mm -hmm. it was like really intense because i was very depressed at ucla and then i would just like go on it and it was just people fucking they had like a oh it was um they had a snapchat that was linked to yik yak somehow and then people would like um very voyeuristic just upload themselves having sex yeah people would upload like videos of themselves having sex and everyone that i knew that was like also depressed was like this is not my college experience like what the fuck is going on oh that's so sad to see and it looks fucking lit yeah it looks really lit meanwhile you're just a virgin doing your a virgin loser oh my god that's embarrassing (laughs) they should write a movie about that i don't think it's embarrassing to like get smarter and learn but no that's not have sex humiliating yeah what just because you don't have sex doesn't mean you're not cool yeah, yeah. That's literally what a virgin fucking loser would say. That uh, is what a virgin loser would say. God damn it. Um, we didn't have Yik Yak. I remember I found out about it on Twitter and I like downloaded it and literally it was like desolate. Nobody had Yik Yak in my area. And honestly, nobody even in my area did like Ask FM, but I would do Ask FM hard by like internet user shit. And did you ever ask anybody anything on Ask FM? Um, I was never an anonymous bully. I just like ask people questions i was like genuinely curious about but anonymously because i didn't want people to know it was me and also i just liked giving people content type vibes because i felt bad when like my friends would do it and they would get like bodied (laughs) i'd be like they didn't want to answer these really mean questions so i'd ask the nice ones i was basically a saint yeah you were an angel yeah you sound like a really good person um i never asked anybody questions because i was too scared that somehow they would link it into my ip address (laughs) and know it was me and i was too embarrassed that was me that was me yes and i was too scared of anybody actually knowing it was me but i would ask myself hella questions to get because you gotta you gotta like get it jump started because sometimes people are like they don't want to ask you anything because they like think that no one else is asking anything huh i never had one like i never did one publicly i, I was did just, i was just like a viewer i was voyeuristic um speaking of uh ask fm do you remember keek and kick yes i had kick I oh hella had that kick. was hella grooming <laughs> that was where our generation went to get groomed yeah it was kick. 
I a lot of kids in my school had Kick though too. Kick was literally the first Vine TikTok. Like it was it was before Vine and TikTok. I wasn't like a Kick girl. I was yeah. a Kick girl. I I had a video go viral on Kick, and then I moved from Kick to Vine, <laughs> or I moved from Kick to GIF Boom, from GIF Boom to Vine, from Vine to now. Kick is where I thought I was talking to Bella Thorne. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so embarrassing. You got catfish. Yeah, me getting catfish. I'm pretty sure I was catfished like a handful of times. Oh, for sure. Like a hundred percent. That's so funny that that like girl, she was probably your age. She was probably like nine or 10 <laughs> as well. And she just like was living her Bella Thorne fantasy. Um, Bella Thorne. But no, I was definitely like catfished by like people who I thought were like cute guys. And it was probably older men being weird with me. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. During like Tumblr era where there was literally no way to identify if people were real or not. Yeah. Yeah. Catfish Central. I was being hella catfish. But you know what? Damn, it doesn't I matter. Had, I had something to talk about and I fucking forgot it. Hold on. Keep going. I'm gonna it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, like I was getting my attention. So you can feel embarrassed by being catfished or you'd be satisfied with the attention you got. No matter who it was on the other side of the screen. Fuck. There was another thing around that area that we all it experienced. Like Jif Boom. Not Omegle. No, we talked about Omegle. We all talked about Omegle. Um, what else? Like, fuck, it was so good too. God damn it. Should I just keep Fine, going I'm just going to kill myself. I'm just going to kill myself. Oh my God, that's not yeah. the solution. Yeah, no, that's the that's solution. That's never the bye, solution, bye, bro. Bye, bye. This is my last episode. I get called <laughs> ugly. I have to rip out my fucking veneers <laughs> on my beard. I'm so ugly. I'm so ugly. Bye. I'm killing myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, what do you want from me? Oh my God. <laughs> you are a freak. Um, but you know what I was talking to Christian about yesterday? We didn't have Amazon. Oh, yeah, that is so weird. Like, and our Netflix was delivered to the door in the mail. Yeah, I, I didn't have Netflix until, like, way later in high school. I think, like, maybe senior year is when I, like, had, like, when Netflix was, like, really a thing people were actually, like, It was doing. just, like, when Stranger Things came out, everybody Literally. got it. That was, like, um, when I started. Like, oh, by the way, have I told you that I'm friends with Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things? Did you things? forget his name? No. You don't know him. I mean, we're, like, really close friends. Like, do you I know the show Stranger Things? What is that? Child Star Finn Wolfhard. Netflix. No. Okay. I don't watch TV. I'm not allowed to. Oh, my God. You're I so... know who that is. I think that's very cool. Thank you, Kai. He's making it up. He's not friends with that person. I have a bunch of photos with him. Insert Photoshopped photos of me and also cut that. Just <laughs> for a reminder for me to Photoshop them. <laughs> See? No, we're not oh, gonna cut that. Girl, what it just came back into my fucking brain <laughs> what I was thinking of. Oh fuck, I posted it on my goddamn meme account and it's 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 coming. It's oh com fuck! It's coming. Oh, is it the fandom wear? Yes, You're that's so what it was. Stupid. We need to bring back fandom wear for the Met Gala. <laughs> um straight up. That's what we need to do. Um but literally fandom wear is so sick. And there's like this post. Um that I posted on my meme account that you bitches are trying so hard to get into. It's honestly kind of embarrassing and you're not getting in. So like, give it up. Oh, the meme account? I've had over like 5,000 requests on that account. And like, I haven't never publicly stated what the account is and they've just found it. I don't know how they found it. It's fucking crazy. But they think that my Finsta is my meme account and that my meme account is my Finsta. They're like, oh, the old one's The new one's Bleep those. And... You bitches are couldn't be more wrong. It's so embarrassing. It sounds like you said you bitches are creamy more wrong. <laughs> creamy more. What um, is that? I don't know. That's creme I was like, creme what fresh. Is that? Creme fresh. Um, but yeah, fandom wear. I just saw this picture of like Louis in or like one of these Louis the outfits. Suspenders yeah, the suspenders and, and bright I was red like, pants. I was like, I'm doing that for a YouTube video. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Like I'm doing that for a YouTube video. Like I never truly experienced One Direction. And I've always been jealous of the people who did. And now I'm going to experience One Direction as an adult. Bitch, I just have an age regressing series on my YouTube channel. Like, that's literally all it is. <laughs> like, know. at the end of the day. Like, I'm proposing to my cousin. Wait, why is that age regressing? Age regressing. No, I'm, not, I'm just saying it's just like how fucking weird my YouTube channel is. But. Um, I was like, did you do that as a kid? The 
while everybody was fans of One Direction, I was a Miley and Beyonce girl. You see, the One Direction girls were school. tapped into everything, though. Oh, yeah. Because because we were still tapped into Miley. Yeah. Like, it was, like, still... like You probably didn't have a relation the relationship that I had with her, um, but that's okay. Like, you can have One Direction, but I have Miley. You just didn't... You, we weren't playing the same game, you know? Yeah, yeah I, I, I liked, like, Aphex Twin... When I was oh, that that makes sense because you were really fucking old. And like Bogdan Brzezinski. Yeah, just, when we were like, oh, okay, four tattoo, like you're fucking weirdo. Okay. Yeah, because like, it, no, it leave him. It makes sense when we were fourteen. Okay. Virgin, and he was already like twenty six. Virgin. I wasn't twenty six. Yeah. Right. I you was twenty six. Yeah, you were fourteen. I yeah. wasn't. No, well, I was like seventeen. Uh, I was seventeen. But yeah, we um. <laughs> he got that fair. We were um. Fuck, I, I lost track. I lost track. <laughs> a oh, a Miley girl. girl, Beyonce girl. I was, you know what it was? I was a Beyonce Scroll girl. Scroll back on my IG. It's really fucking embarrassing. And I was a Lana girl. I archived Dude, Lana quite shit. a lot. Oh, yeah. Lana. But I was. Uh, um, she's so beautiful. I was Who am I lying a to? Beyonce girl when I was really young. And then I became a Justin Bieber girl. And then I became a One Direction girl. And then in that One Direction fandom, you had to be dabbling in the other girls because it was the whole culture. But like obviously, One Direction was top of my priorities. Mm. Um, I had I've gotten a tweet from Now Horan. Like I was there. Like I was literally there. Damn. Is he alive? Nile. Yeah. No. Is he alive? He passed no, away he passed. in his London flat. If any of them died, I would kill myself. L- Nile Horan passed away in his London flat. It's a news <laughs> story right here. Wait, where is he? We need to find out right now. Um, Fuck. Wait. Um. That's how Damn. I started my YouTube channel. It's a video that I have privated since, but literally my first YouTube video was about Zayn leaving One Direction. Damn. No way. Yeah, swear to God. That that's was like, because that's how I started. I started on the internet because. Do you have it archived or did you delete it? No, delete it's it? it's just privated. I need to see that. Um, No, I would. Are you still embarrassed as shit back then? I'm so embarrassed. Really? Yeah. It's like cute and endearing to me. Now. No, it's, I'm still not there. Maybe when I'm old like you, it will be. But yeah, I don't. I don't need to be. <laughs> Damn. 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 Um, I think I've archived a few of my like. Honestly, should we do that for the rest of the videos? Look yeah. at our old ID post. That's what I'm doing right now. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in deep. We got Why a picture. Why does IG make it so that you could look at your last post? Like, I shouldn't have a public Instagram that has 830 posts. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Um, but we're looking at a picture that I posted of Miley Cyrus, and it says Bay Stop. Then we're looking at a post of my YouTube channel with 34 subscribers <laughs> in this banner that I made that I was so proud of. I was like, this is so Tumblr. Like, this is eating. And then do you know what this quote is? What? Pick your balls up off the floor. No. It's like a uh, Harry or Niall or Liam. Someone said that to one of them in the band. I think Liam said it to Harry, maybe. I don't remember. Um, I simply don't remember. Hold on. I got to look it up. I need to archive like half my IG. This is too much. Pick your balls up off the floor. And I thought it was like, it was like salad in the wind type vibe. Liam tweeted it. Pick up. Yeah, look, here it is. Liam tweeted. um, Damn. Pick your balls up off the floor and get on with it instead of taking advantage of every word said and twisting it for your own gain. I thought that was the funniest (laughs) shit ever. So much so that I posted this. (laughs) <laughs> and i was high as fuck in that picture Check this out. i was i was in my tumblr bag Girl, wait 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 <laughs> i got i got the trill i got the trill and then wait look at this look at this era tumblr oh, yeah. bag look t- this is the 1975 occasion not the, the minions joke like holy shit damn i was with it i was with the times it's like, actually crazy. wait why was i serving gradient not me when i thought i was genuinely an alien posting this and being like ugh, like that's me i thought <laughs> when i was growing up i f- genuinely thought i was an alien like there were Two years of my life where I was so depersonalized and do- so decentralized and derealized from reality that, like, I for real was like, oh, like, the only thing that makes sense is that I am not actually alive or that I don't belong here and I'm from another planet. And, like, when Madison Beer gets made fun of for saying she's like an alien because she's so beautiful and esoteric, like, I do understand what she's saying. She's not saying, she's saying it because she is. She's not here. Liz. Yeah, exactly, exactly. She's desensitized. Never depersonalized. Oh, this? Yeah. 
pushing all the pop girlies off the table. But like <laughs> when I posted that, I was like, I'm really sad about like a lot of these. Ooh, that eats. Hold on. So it's a picture of a hey, uh, music on one trillion swag. Uh, bad girls, Yala, Lolly, 23 Miley Cyrus, SMS bangers, Miley Cyrus, Wrecking Ball, Miley Cyrus, Love Money Party. F you, do my thing. Okay, it's literally all Miley Cyrus. Like, I when know. I tell you I was a Miley stan, like... Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't a Miley fan like that. I did like bangers, but I yeah. wasn't, like... I wasn't, like, listening to Miley other than that. There was, like, a Bangers 2 era coming back. Me posting... Me looking up Urban Outfitters <laughs> and then adding a filter to it and then posting it, acting like I took the photo. And I'd never been to Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters was, Was like literally the, the mecca. Like, that was the... Sp- Bought. like it, it was crazy if you could go into urban outfitters and purchase something like you were winning like you were literally winning yeah you were goals you were trill as fuck you had money like you were trill yeah you were like rich this did this i archive was the end of an era damn my fucking if you like if you were around for my music wall I had the time. I was around for your music wall. I had so much time. I was bored as fuck and I had time. I don't even think I have a picture of it. I was really Girl, ugly. Where the fuck is Ugg? She is so beautiful. <laughs> I may need fresh eyes on this. You know what's really cute is like, um, uh, <laughs> is going back and seeing like so many of our friends who we still know, like liking my posts. I know, from like this Matt, Matt still like was liking. Oh, I clicked on it. <laughs> Um, yeah, Ugg, she is so beautiful. Cannot get over how beautiful Lana is, Ugg. Let's see who's liked this. Matt, Netgirl Grease, Elena, Sydney, Wishful Annie, rest in peace. Um, Drew, F- or Dana, Tori. Every time I get in the car, I get in my feelings times 10. Damn. <laughs> That's my, that I have the caption was on one of my pictures. as fuck. Dude, I'm still not over, like, full-blown, like, tumblr feed era like that shit's so funny it was such a time like literally curating like a color-coded feed. i know like, like and and like adding the filter like the pink filter over every photo yeah like, like adding like, blue tones or pink tones like depending on what era you were in or if you were in like your white and black era like yeah having to like scour it. and scour the shit out of tumblr and have like aesthetic <laughs> tumblr bogs me cute and single Oh my god. <laughs> While you're actively being groomed by like know, a 34 year old man. I was literally man. actively being groomed by somebody who could very well go into any liquor store and buy alcohol. <laughs> and I was like 15. And I was like, me when I'm single. Like, and he would text me and Dude, be like, Don't the say internet that. was fucking crazy. Like, how are we, like, how did we survive early internet? Like the, it was the genesis, fun. the genesis <laughs> like, of social media. Like, I genuinely don't know how any of us survived. Like, that was like. It is still, in my eyes, the Wild West, and no one knows what the fuck is going on or how to handle it, and there will be laws in five to ten years, like, banning children from the internet, like, fully, like, barring them, but, like, the fact that, like, we grew up, like, nine to ten years of our life, 12, 13 for some, without cell phones and social media, and then right when we got onto the internet, we were introduced to, like the worst shit possible like sure there was myspace and like early facebook that we were on but like crazy like i remember finding out what a hashtag was i remember like begging my friends like saying like dude like i don't know what the fuck this is like what does a hashtag explain it and they're like oh it's like literally just a hashtag like you hashtag and then add the word after and i'm like but what is it like what does that mean and they were like it's just like this like thing on twitter like just like say hashtag drew phillips and like it's a hashtag now and i was like the symbol is a hashtag but what is it i remember this conversation going on for like five minutes and like i just didn't understand it but i my like true internet usage didn't start till like late seventh grade like early eighth grade that's when i really was like tapping into like using the internet but yeah we got like a good chunk of our life where like that was the last of our worries and even when we were doing that the internet was so small so it wasn't like it didn't Dude, like it invade any of your so, personal life. You, know you could crazy? like step in and out of it. It's like the internet was like small until like 2020. Like yeah. 2019. No, like, we fully it said was that was still before, small. Yeah. yeah. Like it was, it's insane how like Just TikTok, exponential like, it's gotten. Grew it so much. Yeah. Um, um, 
I guess like our side of the internet. I mean, like I guess the internet was used by everybody, but like, like Stan, like video, like that type of shit was just no. Like, it was still so small because like that's most, what I, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh wait, you mean like internet like as a internet whole. as a whole? Because I knew so many kids who like still well into high school didn't have like Instagram and shit because they were like, what? Like I don't want that shit. They were like, why would I do that? Like why would I don't want to post pictures? Girl, we were getting made fun of for this shit, and you now made everybody. Fun of. Everyone was, everyone was trying it, to Okay, no one made fun of me to my face. Oh, yeah, but, but... shit was set behind my back. And look at me now. Now I have a semi-successful podcast <laughs> where we run ads. Now I have... Yeah, Now I I'm bald. I miss, like, how fucking crazy the internet used to be. But I also don't because, like, now it's, like... I Also, I think the internet has gotten more mean. Like... Oh, for sure. Like, we, we got... Like, that's what I'm saying is, like, the internet at least used to be, like, fun. Like, it was just, like... You could, like, be a stupid fucking idiot. And everybody was a stupid fucking idiot, but no one was mean because we were all fucking weird losers. Yeah, everybody understood that, like, if you were that tied to the internet, it was probably because at, back at home you were, like, not, like, Subconsciously, I stand Miley Cyrus so hard because of Mon- uh, Hannah Montana because I led such a double life. Like, in real life, I presented as, like, this, like, like athletic like sports playing boy but on the internet i was standing miley cyrus and beyonce <laughs> and it was an escape it genuinely was like such oh, a good fully. escape yeah like my one direction obsession was fully like an escape from my reality like yeah. it literally was like i got to go home and like talk to people who like had this one interest that was so similar to mine and we could talk about like our personal lives without having to get too personal because at the core of it like what was important was like what are these like five dudes like doing right now like yeah. where are they what are they doing i remember when i couldn't get tickets that's to why their i first love stan and I culture so much stopped. i love yeah. stan culture so much because i like i understand like what it is to these girls yeah it like, literally is like an escape yeah I, I mean i just have to clarify this i am and was the last straight miley cyrus stan like i was straight standing my oh you so when you when you posted a picture of lana del rey and like miley and you said oh my god she's so beautiful it was you straight. were being that was from a straight place yeah. it, it wasn't like oh my god she's serving before boots was a serve it yeah. was like it, it, was, it was like, like oh she's like hot mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. like yeah. vagina hot like i love vagina <laughs> i do it's true he does I mean, I, <laughs> I had a vagina stand Twitter in seventh grade. Just what? Like, I just stand vagina. Um. Well, my username when Niall Horan tweeted me was literally vagina Niall, and he That's fully he so fully insane. opened that up and replied to. And he replied to me on I think Justin Bieber's birthday because I remember I was like, what a fucking day! I get to celebrate Justin Bieber's birthday, and Niall replied That's to so me. That's so cute. Um, and it was the best thing ever. Like, you had a bunch of like accounts. I just I've literally I had, had the, the same, same account, Twitter. but I would change my username because I was big in the One Direction like fandom culture. Oh, I remember. Was to always have like a funny and like new user. And, and it like when we both started garnering audiences i remember very early on like when we had like our little fandoms or whatever you want to call it um and like people would like make an announcement being like i'm changing my username soon uh please remain moots like we're gonna oh like we're still gonna be moots but i'm changing my username just wanted to let everybody know and it was more to like let your mutuals know but also to let like your like prize yeah, your, follows yeah. know like because I kept up with my fan accounts like I loved like yeah. my early fan accounts like I wonder where they still I I'm like actually friends with a lot of them today like literally good yeah, friends yeah yeah most of most of like the friends I made on the internet like close friends were like people who like had liked my content mm-hmm. like at the beginning like I literally like one of my like first friends in LA Ashley was because she was like liked my YouTube videos and my vines. And when I came out to LA, like she, me and her would hang out all the time and we still like follow each other and like keep up every now and then. Yeah. So it's like, it is like crazy. It was just like a different, it was because it was so intimate. Like Mm. it was like an intimate thing. And because we were a part of press play. So we would be seeing these people in real life all the time. And I literally would hang out with like everybody all the time. It was just so fun. Like, yeah, uh, I I really like Drew's content on Grindr and that's, yeah, how I met Drew. Because I shut the fuck up. Yeah, like, why are you? No one that knows up? about that because I'm straight. Yeah, not yeah. you. Not you attempting to out your <laughs> quote unquote friend. Yeah, right, I'll cut that. Yikes. I'll cut it. It's fine. You can't fucking cut it. You I'm have to. Leave it. it won't be in the episode, yeah, guys. I know. It won't be in the episode. Drew is top two percent on uh, Grinder. Top zero point one percent, babe. That's smaller. 
top 0. 0.1. Is that uh, wait one point zero one wait zero? Wait, okay. I think when people say that, I get confused, and I'm reading it the opposite way. That it's like, it's like because when it's no, someone's like, like I oh, mean, the one like percent, I'm like, that's a small, a very small amount out that, of a hundred. That is, that's what people are saying. Like the point zero one percent own like a majority of the wealth in the world, but it's like a thousand people compared to seven, eight billion people. And they own all oh, of the wealth. Oh, okay. See, I've been reading it different. I was like, why are y'all like bragging about being 0.5% right now? Like that, like you're literally, oh my God, no. Like that's embarrassing. I cannot believe this right now. <laughs> I'm a little fucking dumb. I don't give a, I've always said, Is that God real? doesn't give you big tits and a brain. Like, let's talk that's about true. it. Like that's, that's too much body mass. Like I only have enough body mass and like strengthen myself to carry one thing. If you got your I... boobs removed, do you think your brain would grow? 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. It would be like, I'd have a really big brain. Word. Which is honestly probably what why is I it? Do it. Big brain boobs and Cooter Bronson? Or could you get a Cooter Bronson removal, grow your boobs and brain? Uh, no, my, I get, that's a good point because my, my coochie does carry a lot of my weight. Yeah. But like, <laughs> is it the same ratio? Like if your coochie's big, your brain can't be big or does that not correlate? No, I don't think the coochie correlates. Okay. Like it doesn't, it's not on the same playing field. Okay, fair. Because like, you don't want to be top heavy. That's the mm-hmm. whole thing is like, you can't have a big brain and big boobs because then you'll fall over everywhere. Oh. Yeah. So that's kind Damn, of it's thing. crazy how evolution just like figured all this shit out for us. Yeah. Wait, what is it? It's like evolution. Um, It's like mistakes or something. It's like. So like evolution only... isn't real. It's just a theory and we don't actually know if it's real. Um, I agree with that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> then room full of dummies. Um, no, it's like the entire our entire lives are like mistakes. Basically, we're just like a, an accumulative mistake, and that's why we are what we are today. I don't know. I'm not a fucking mistake. Yeah, me neither. But uh, oh my god, are you gonna put your veneers back on, or like, did you pay 180? No, nope, they're to not have going them back sitting? on. Nope, they're not going back on. <laughs> you just spent 180 dollars to have them sitting here. Yep. You just have that kind of disposable income? Or are you like? I don't give a fuck. I'm rich as fuck. Um, okay, let's get into <laughs> media. Um, okay, this album that I've been listening to is Music for 18 Musician by Steve Reich. Right? R-E-I-C-H. Um, this album is very orchestral and epic, and it just makes me very happy. Um, and it makes me feel things from music that I don't typically feel, which is really, really cool. And I like anything that's able to do that um just because it's cool and then a little banger that kai showed me um is 50 50 by jockstrap um that shit is fucking boots down like it's crazy um and then uh, let me go to this album because there's one song on it and then no step by christoph de babylon um the album if you're in to it i'm out of it is lit sauce um and then for my visual uh media i still have been watching a bunch of tv but last night i saw the northsmen um and every single frame of that movie could have been screen capped and it was gorgeous and beautiful and i don't know if that's like the director of photography's job or if that's just because iceland is like the most gorgeous place on earth um but yeah the dop is crazy the cinematography on that movie was crazy like the very last scene of the movie was probably the coolest um like (laughs) visual i've seen in a movie in a very long time like i don't know also it was just so fucking weird and like there were so many moments where I was like, girl, what the fuck is happening right now? Like, in the beginning, I genuinely thought it was a comedy. Like, I was like, this is... I think I got tricked into watching a comedy because they were, like, burping and farting. And, like, the fart was, like, mixed <laughs> so poorly. It was so fucking weird. Um, but, you can't put a fart in a serious movie because it's not No, and, and, like, in the context that it was in, I was like, oh, like, this is, like, they're, they're shitting on... Like, they're joking. Like, they wanted us to believe that this was a serious movie. And then you go into it and it's not. But, like fully it became they trapped kids into a barn and burned it down and i was like oh like this is a real movie <laughs> and you still laughed really hard and yeah no i was laughing out. the whole time he actually didn't get to finish the movie because they kicked him out for yeah i was laughing at the peak it was crazy <laughs> uh but yeah that's my media um my media is waiting by the carousel by robin guthrie um blue sky and clear slow dive and then um only if by steve lacy 
and um, Playground. I've been listening to that whole album. Um, it's either that or like ambient music. And then also White Noise by Akira Yamayoko. Yamayoka? Play. I can't say that name. Um, and then I've been watching uh, A Girl from Plainville. Mm. Um, and I really like it. Because That's again, lit. I'm just in my true crime era. Like I was going to watch... Um, a movie and I was like you know what I should do instead is like binge watch this whole thing and I got I really wanted to watch <laughs> what no. I really wanted to watch the Chip and Dale movie but I didn't want to watch oh, it oh you didn't watch it no because I was like I want to get high as bones and watch this with my friends I don't want to be like cracking up at Chip and Dale alone in my room right now wow that um, sounds lit no it sounds like it'd be hella funny to like sit in the room with the crew and like we should have sleepover yeah and do it in your room, bringing the air mattresses. I'm down. Yeah. We used to do sleepover. That was so cute. What happened to us? We all got busy. Um, ew, I hate it so much. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's the episode. Thank you so much. Thank you. Until next time. Yeah. Uh, while you're waiting... Go watch a few more of our episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.